<laughs> Alright. Today I want to talk about 60 upgrades really quickly. I use this website a lot. It's not a sponsor or anything. Um, but it is sick. If you're trying to, like, look for gear, um, and you don't trust the random shit that you find on Google, or, like, sometimes Wowhead is a little, uh, a little scuffed in their guides. Even though a great site. But, um... It's dope to use. So you just go and you make an account, you make a character, you jump in the character's little thing, um, and then you would say like, all right, you do, you wouldn't have all these sets. You'd make a set, you'd say, hey, I want this gear. A piece of shout to Peace Play TV, let's just use that. But you'd do this, you'd pick your talent spec. I don't know, I am not remember exactly why this is important, but whatever, let's say like I'm going for an AP build. So you do retribution, you pick what phase gear. So this thing here just like says, I'm only gonna show gear up to this phase. Um, we'll skip this for a second, but we come down here, you can say like, hey, I, I wanted this to be a PvP thing, I'll look for plate only, or blah blah blah, I don't want to get any BOEs, I don't I don't want to get PvP gear, world bosses, get that out of here, etc. Pretty, pretty sick stuff. Um, then there's more stuff, you can sort by weapons and sh all this crap. You can say, I'm not an engineer, I don't want to see any of that, blah blah blah. Um, you can say my PvP rank is zero, I don't want to see any of this stuff. And then... You go into this, this equivalency point is the really cool part. So there's presets, like you can say this is holy equivalency points, or retribution, or you can also do custom and make your own. Uh, <laughs> let's do that again. Um, like you'll see, let me see, I probably have a shitload of them, yeah. So these are all different things I have. But let's look at the presets for now. So this one you would say, hey I'm holy, I'm looking for holy gear, this is what they are recommending use for your point distribution. And what it does is, it looks at a piece of gear, um, like any piece of gear, whatever, forward ring seal, it could be a weapon, and it gives them points based on these assignments. So for each point of healing, this uh, item is going to give one point. For each point of spell damage, it's going to give one point. For each point of int, it's going to give one point. Each point of spell crit, it's going to give 20. Each mana per 5 is 3. Every point of mana it has is 0 .06. And you can go in here and you can customize these values, I believe, yeah. So I can go in now and say, spell damage, okay. But in, I don't really care about in, I'm going to make this 0.5. Did I put the point in? Do I have to do 0 0.5? Yeah, you have to put 0 0.5. Um, or you can say, I don't care at all about mana, let me take that out, boom. Or you can say, hey, um, I want to do some PvP, so I'll add a stamina to this, boom. You can do that, then you would go in, hit add, uh, whatever, let's say create. And now it has this little grid set up for you. You can see all your gear, you can go in and do your talents if you want, because this is going to affect things like at the bottom here. It shows you all your stats. You can say, okay, I want to see my, what's that so far? I want to see my spell, I want to see my melee. You can go in here and just switch it around. Um, and it takes talents into consideration too, I believe. So let's look really quickly. So I have 0% hit chance right now. If I go into here and I do this, I'm assuming it's built so that now I have my 3% from that talent I just got. So it's pretty handy. But that's not the huge thing. Well, you can just hit autofill. That's kind of crazy. But then you can go in slot by slot and say like, okay, what is the highest equivalency point piece of gear for this slot with my crazy shit in it? And it tells you this guy's 138 points, so you would say like, okay, maybe I have a Zulian headdress. It tells you this is 55 points stronger when you mouse over it. It tells you the exact changes you're getting. It tells you where it's from, so you can say like, okay, I'm never going to get Azur Ghost through. I'm never going to get Lathan loot. Oh, so I should go for this Mishunders from uh, Blackwing Lair. It's really good. Huh? And that, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's sick. I guess let's test out this autofill thing, huh? You can go and sort stuff. Boom. So this is the this is what they're saying this is. And it even does not chance too. If you click like down here, you can throw some things in. Let's give them the little greater resistance, right? And then no glove and chan. That's it. Feels bad. This is a... You have the armor kit. Why don't they put the armor kit in? That's this. Oh, it's because armor doesn't have any equivalency points on this. Gotcha. But yeah, really good site. Um, I use this a lot when I'm scouting for gear, especially if a new phase is coming out, I'll bump, go and bump this up to phase 5, start taking a look through what we got. So yeah, 60 upgrades, pretty pretty cool site. Give it a, ch give it a shot, give it a look. Anyway, cheers.